Hey there YouTube. I'm just going to do a quick comparison between the Purple Clay Alto C Ocarina from STL the Map Ram Ocarina. Alto C. Start out with sound samples from both then move into what I like dislike about them, what I think's good, when uh, problems I think with them, all that fun stuff. Start off with the song. Most of you will probably recognize this. This is the Halo theme. Perform first on the STL Purple Clay. This time on the map rim. Now I like the STL because it sounds perfectly clear all the way through the high notes and I'll play the top notes just to show you how I think it's clear coming from me. <laughs> sounds really clear but when we get to the lower notes that's where I really start to have a problem with this ocarina. You tell that sub hole right there? I just don't think it's uh, lowering the pitch to what it should be lowering it to. And I've even held it up to an auto tuner I had, and it's not registering all the way down to A. It's stuck at a sharp B flat in that area. But other than that, I love this ocarina. I love everything about it. it Sounds me to say I have a chip inside the mouth hole right there, but I don't think that affects the sound in any way. So. This is a great ocarina. If you choose this one, great. Just, just know that your bottom note's not going to sound as good as it would on the on a ocarina with proper sub holes. Now the map ram. Love this ocarina. Its sub holes are perfect, and it's the only rock ocarina I have that has perfect sub holes, and that just makes it stand out to me as one of my favorite ocarinas. It has a slot for the neck strap, which is good, but so does the STL. I just looks harder to use. Um, this ocarina isn't as clear technically as the STL one is but it does have a texture to it I like and it just makes it sound better. It's not airy in the sense that you would think about it from what you would hear but it actually sounds like it's a good thing in there. Um, this, like I said the sub holes are great I love this ocarina. I've had it for almost a month now. And recently, it suffered some damage. Right in there. But still, it plays and sounds like it did before the damage. But just in case, I've already ordered a Maparam Alto C Double because I loved this ocarina so much. But it just frustrated me I can never play Zelda's Lullaby fully on it. So that just bothered me. I was going to get an Alto C Double just in case the repair wouldn't hold on this one and it ended up being nothing more than a collector put uh, item in my collection. So, sum it all up. They're both great ocarinas. If you love a clear tune, go with this one. Just know there's going to be a sub hole problem. But if you love the texture in this, this is a great ocarina. The sub holes work fine. But I would not suggest it if you were just completely hung up on getting com com a completely clear sounding ocarina. That being said, love them both, wouldn't trade them for nothing. That's all I have for this time. I'll see you back soon with some more videos, hopefully more featuring my map ram. And maybe a couple more featuring this too. Cup. Be waiting to see when I get my Alto C double. Put some videos out with that. Maybe even Ballad of the Windfish, I'm not sure yet. Don't quote me on that. See you next time.